test the ghost drone. I'm gonna take it over in the field. Man, the LED almost looks like it's on. It's so bright, uh, so vibrant orange. So I'm gonna take it over in the field with the tune and see what we got. You know, it had real bad of this. So I put the landing gear back on it, try to balance a little bit of that out with the tune that I have. I think I'm on to something. So I go ahead and uh, take it out in the field and rip it around and see what you guys think. And um, I think you're gonna see a major difference in this thing. Uh, it will do a pitch. Um, before it wobbled real bad so I didn't throw the stick forward and um, what happens is these sticks are like if you kind of push it a little bit you know it'll just a little bit but then if you kind of throw it this way this thing will pitch like this and go across the sky it's pretty cool um, you have to watch doing that because it's not made today I gotta put some heat shrink on the antennas or some hot glue they keep popping out the antenna holes there but uh yeah it's a good build um, solid and I'm gonna use a buzzer this time in it a uh, uh, little beeper that connects to your balance port that beeps on the 3.7. When the voltage gets down below 3.7, it'll let me know. So I could run it to probably 3.5 or something like that, but I'll go 3.7 just to be safe. All right, guys, let's see what it does. Thank you for watching. Ehang Ghost Drone 3.0. And see how it flies out here. I have a uh, low buzzer hooked to it for a 3.7 on the cells. So it should beep when it gets down low. That way I don't have to worry about running the battery over. Um, so let's see what happens. Run the motors. Real stable now guys, real real stable. You can put a camera on that thing. Just a little bit of vortex when I'm on and off the throttle. That's a pirouette. And these sticks are sensitive, so when I do on the out when I touch my sticks, they have expo, so when I barely touch the stick, it, it barely moves, but then when I, I can pitch it, if you see right there, so. So here's just barely pushing it across the sky. There's pitched. I can almost pitch it straight to the ground. So I'm gonna run it like this and then, and then I'm gonna run it uh, air mode. I didn't bring glasses, so it's really hurting my eyes right now. That really kills me to take it up that high. I literally have my eyes closed right now. My eyes are watering so bad, I can't even see it. Oh man. guys I wipe the eyes my eyes are so watering I can't even see it right now Whew. just from the Sun the brightness out here and the Sun's not even out it's just a look up it's just too bright for me right now but we'll get it make sure you guys are getting this all in frame too cuz I'm pretty amazed with myself like I said I'll be honest with you guys, I've been going through hell with my hobby. Um, it's like, it's my passion and most people don't see it. So they're kind of like beat me up about it. So I'm trying to stay on point with what I'm, what I'm here to do. And I want to teach people and show people, you know, what kind of knowledge I have into these things. And I think I'm done a great job here. Um, not to toot my own horn, but 
when you do something really worth seeing that you've done something that it really makes a difference then you're really proud of yourself and I'm proud of myself because of this like this thing flies great with this transmitter I didn't bind it to it I literally pulled the whole drone apart and put all my stuff inside to make it talk to this new PDB new flight controller new receiver um, PIDs tuning um, everything on this guy to make it fly like this if you look at my other video it doesn't fly this smooth it's, it's literally like this so I can pull the transmitter rates on it and get it to be real smooth the way even when you shove the stick but it's still just tell me you did that with the ghost drone before you wouldn't have you'd have hit that power right there this drone before flown like this okay it go up in the air you go forward stop turn left that way you couldn't do this it wouldn't do all that but that's awesome to fly this like this you could put a camera on this thing at that point I mean, look at that right there. That's smooth and it's windy. It's breezy out here. And range? Well, you got range for days. Like, I could go all the way across the field with this thing. No doubt. Killing me out here today. you're going to want to get one of these you're going to want to get one of them lbb low buzzers let me show you fred another thing i want to cover on here is um we're on pwm so if you leave your switch armed and you move your drone oh wait a minute it's a fail safe that I like to do. I forgot to show you. So if you pull your stick down and leave your thing armed, see like now it won't do nothing. But if I leave my stick down and arm it, it might be enough just if you stick your fingers down in there. It might tip the tip of your finger. So you want to be careful. Always before you touch the drone, lock your props. What I like to do to remind me, because I keep forgetting about that, is I leave my throttle up a little bit and then you leave your throttle up a little bit the throttle locks it out because that's your fail safe and that will allow you not to chop your fingers off but just make sure you turn your arm button off before you pick your drone up because if you go like this and pick the drone up while it's armed with your throttle down and you can hear it whichever way you turn that propeller is spinning pretty quick there and that would definitely hurt your fingers so lock it up. That's that's my number one thing on this. Um, it does have a thing in there where I could stop motors or have them spin, but as you can see, that's what it is. We are at 11.8 uh, on the battery, which is great. You could probably drive it down to 11.2 maybe. And it'll pick itself back up in a charge, you know, in its state of setting and it recharged itself. But guys, that's the Ehang Ghost Drone 1.0. Oh, no, I'm mistaken. This is the Ehang Ghost Drone 3.0. Because this was the 1.0 and then it came out with the 2.0 and then I came out with my own 3.0. So this is driven by a Matek PDB, a SP 
F3 flight controller. I'm running the FlySky uh, X6B receiver. She is, motors are not hot. You see all that running I was doing? The motors are perfect. The ESCs are right here. They're nice and just warm to the touch. Just what you would expect of something that ran that kind of speed. Uh, just a little bit of warmness is all we have with it. So, Fred, you're going to really enjoy it, man. I know you are. Guys, if you guys wonder who I'm talking about, Fred. Fred is a new guy to the family. I forget his name. It's Brown something on YouTube, but I will put a link in the description so you can check him out. He's sending me the 1.0, and I'm going to turn it into the 3.0 for him. We're going to put FPV in his. He likes this to be the front, so I'm going to keep his normally to the front. You guys know I spun mine around. I just kind of like the piece here, and you can see it's kind of red underneath that shell. I don't know what he hang did. They took a red shell and painted it black. But anyway, I had grass on it where I cut grass with it. But anyway, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I fly it with the FS i6. I don't bind it to this. I literally go inside and remove all the components. I take What I do is I take um, what parts I'm going to use out of it that I'm going to reuse because I reuse the ESCs, the motors, the propellers, the LEDs. Um, that's all I use. Everything on the arms here is all I use of the original Ghost Drone and the little cord that they give you uh, for um, your when you open up your Ghost Drone you'll have a thing in there like this it's an opening you'll see some cables in there now this cable here is exactly what that was used for um if you can see up in there i don't know if you can you can see my flight controller i did that to extend the wire down so i don't have to take out 5 10 15 20 screws to tune this and as you can see i did tune it um thanks to chris riley for your help brother i really appreciate you man um he's the one got me in the neighborhood of where i needed to be on this guy and it's good uh, it needs to in my eyes probably just a little touch more because when you're on the throttle and off the throttle you do just get a vaguely wobble and that's going to be prone to these big fellas these are nine inch or eight inch I think I think they might be nines um, nine inch triple props uh, these guys are really sharp propellers and they create a lot of vortex I think so that's you're gonna have that little bit of wobble. The landing gear did make it much better. It did have a little bit more wobbles without the landing gear, but I think that's all weight issue. So they got weights that you can tune and everything on that. So thank you guys for watching MD95 TSI and the Ehang Ghost Drone 3.0. Take your G-Box and smash it. I got a better idea.